Hey guys, it's Sarah here with that hashtag show, and I am here in amazing Hollywood at the Grauman's Chinese Theater for the red carpet premiere of Shining Veil vale for Stars. This is you and your element. I think you're so fantastic in this. When this came across your desk, your home, your screen, why did you say yes? Um, because I've never played a character that had so many layers to her. She's a mother of a teenager. She is depressed. She was, she's a, a writer that has writer's block. So she's feeling bad about herself. She is having marital problems and trying to start a life over again. And it's just something that to be able to go through what she goes through, even in every single episode, is just something I've never experienced. And. I, I feel like it was written for me, and yet I know it wasn't, <laughs> but I, I, I really, I, it was a dream. I love your character of Gaynor. I feel like it's so easy to kind of write her off as like an angsty, basic teenager, and I think she's so much more than that. You're welcome. Um, what was your favorite part about playing her? I think everything you said, I, you know, it's easy to be like a 16-year-old yelling at her parents. We've seen that, but she's, the writing's so good, and she's so, you know, layered and, and complicated, and, um... I think I'm just excited to see kind of the journey she goes on and for people to see that she's not just one thing and she uh, she kind of grows into her skin a little more. Absolutely. How amazing. Were you intimidated or so excited to work with actor icons like Courtney Cox and Greg Kinnear and Judith Light? Yes! Oh, completely. I was fans of all of them. Little Miss Sunshine Friends, Transparent, I mean, that's all of it, yes. What was your favorite experience on set? Do you have a fun story? I mean, Dylan, who plays my brother, um, you know, he would be jumping out of closets, scaring me constantly. So, yeah, I, I, just bonding with him, bonding with everybody. I, there's not even one specific story. It's, it was great the whole time. And why should everyone check out this show? Oh, I mean, there's twists and turns at every corner, and it's really unlike anything on TV. And I know people say that, but I mean it wholeheartedly. There's nothing like this that you will see that's out there. I agree completely, and I hope everyone checks out Shining Veil. Vale. Um, I want to ask you, where in the world did the idea for this wild, weird, fun, kind of amazing show even come from? So that came from the, the wild, crazy, weird mind of Sharon Horgan. And it's funny because Sharon and I did a lot of press together. We, we've, only, we've never written together. We've, never, we've only been in the same room a couple of times. Um, you know, she had this idea. I was looking for another show to do because my show just got... Um, indefinitely canceled, um, let go, <laughs> released to the uh, Ethernet and uh, the Ether. And, um, you know, I heard from uh, Aaron Kaplan, who's a producer. He said, oh, I have a Sharon Horgan wants to do a uh, The Shining, but as a comedy. I'm like, I'm totally into this. And so I want to do genre bending. And I talked to Sharon about it. And she said, you know, Sharon always does these like women forward shows and when I read what uh, the, the line that's in the show is that women are more than twice as likely as men to be possessed and depressed, I was like, I am totally into this. So I did a lot of research on possession, a lot of research on mental illness. I, as I've said before, I'm very, very lucky to come from a long line of women with mental illness in my family. So I had something to write to and then you know, just once I started writing it, and it just kind of took off, and and um, really, really fun. And once Courtney came on board, and and Greg, and you know, this incredible, incredible cast, Mira, it just all like, it's really, a dream. it's very, very surreal. Like we did this because I don't know if you remember COVID. What? I'm sorry. What? That was like from two days ago. But like, you know, we were we're all in like a bubble. Like we're literally in a bubble filming this, and we don't even know. And like. I just knew, like, the people that we hired for, for wardrobe, the people we hired for music, the people we hired for set deck, I wanted people to have an obsession, and they all did just from the script. And they were all obsessed with it. I let people, I let people run with it. I said, like, what's your impression? This is a giant canvas. Let's just, I've never done horror before. Some people, time? yeah, I've never done, I've never done drama before. And I had one, I had one horror writer and one comedy writer, and my comedy writer, oh, Roxy! Hi, Daisy! <laughs> There's the star of the show. The star of the that show. That is the star of the show. Will you take right Roxy there. for a photo? Down yes, by the please. Okay. Amazing. Daisy, I'm going to take Roxy. This is the real star. Around, I know. She's smaller in person, right? How scary was this for you? She, Roxy has to have her. She doesn't do interviews with other people. Fair enough. Uh, she has it in her contract. Roxy was amazing, though. But, like, honestly, I think Roxy... I think we... <laughs> she's delicious. I think we cast Roxy, like between uh, Terry and Pat, like Courtney and Greg, we cast Roxy. And it was just like, you know, I think Deadline went crazy. Um, 
Yes. Awesome. Well, this show's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I cannot wait for everyone to see it. Congratulations oh, on tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really loved your character of Ryan. Thank you. Were there any clubs, because as we know, he is in a very special club that you were a part of in high school? Um, no clubs. I did sports. I played sports, yeah, football in high school, yeah, but no, no clubs. Mm -mm. Why no clubs? I don't know. I think just football kind of took up all of my time, you know? I was really dedicated to football. Yeah, no clubs. What position? I played corner and receiver. Nice. That's amazing. What about this character for you? Did you personally connect with? Is, are you like him at all? Or are you complete opposites? Um, I... <laughs> Okay, well, as far as the chastity club goes, I think maybe that would be the opposite. But as far as like honest and earnest and just like no um, ulterior motive and agenda, he's just what you see is what you get. And he's a real lovable guy and he, he means well. I thought he was so charming. You're so like, like you're not him. Like, I, think, <laughs> like you're so, I think you're so charming as him. What other projects do you have coming up or anything you want to talk about? Um, just working Shining Veil right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. What's your favorite horror movie? Favorite horror movie? Um, it's a horror comedy, so I gotta ask. Right. I would go with Jeepers Creepers. Scary. Solid. Yeah, very, very scary. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, and I hope everyone loves Shining Veil on Stars. Uh, I feel like you have had the most amazing train, like character training, leading up to this show for you, because you've been in Stranger Things. You're in Pen Fifteen, so you've got like the scary and the comedy all ready to go. So when you this project like landed in your lap, how excited were you for it? I was very excited. I mean, sometimes you get like a script for like a show and stuff, and you're like, oh, okay, this is like nice. But like, oh, I got the script for like Shiningville, and I was like, man, this they really got something going here. Like every like script reading and stuff, and every table read was like so fun to just interact with everyone. So it's it's definitely been very fun. How excited were you for like to work with some acting icons like Greg Kinnear and Courtney Cox? And uh, it was amazing working with them. Just seeing like masters of their craft at work, just sort of like vibing and learning off of them, and seeing how like how many different ways they could like perform a certain line is just so interesting. How, do you relate at all to your character? Like he's very introverted. He loves his VR tech. He loves like he makes his friend. Yeah, no, he's definitely very introverted. He's, uh, I, I can definitely relate to him. Uh, most of my friends are probably online, but uh, hey, uh, I, I think that Jake takes it to like the next level of introverted and stuff, and like really blots out the world around him. Well, I like to think that I'm a little bit more here, but uh, yeah, no, I, I definitely vibe with him. And why do you think everyone should absolutely check out Shining Veil vale when it comes out? Uh, it's a very funny and at times very scary show and I think that everyone has uh, something that they'll like about it and just for that you should definitely check it out.